Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and in today's video we are doing a neon galaxy nail art design. This was suggested a little while ago on the channel so when I was going through suggestions I thought I would give it a go this week. Now I'm working on display tips so if you was working on yourself or a client you would need to do all your prep and base coat first of all so I will leave a dedicated prep video in the description box below. Well we're jumping straight in to applying a black heart for our base colour and you do need to apply this colour super thin so you can see there that I applied a thin coat, wiped off my brush and then I'm coming over it again just to make sure that I've got a super thin layer. This is a very pigmented black gel polish so you want to keep your layers nice and thin so that it's going to cure sufficiently without any bubbling or call it causing any peeling issues. So I did that on all four nails and I'm only going to do one coat of this because we're going to be covering up a lot of it with our galaxy design and one coat did look very pigmented. If you was working on yourself or a client, depending on how it looks, you might want to come in and do two coats. Now for this design, we're going to be doing a lot of marble work. So I'm going to take the blooming gel and I'm going to apply a thin coat of this to all of the nails. Now the blooming gel has a slightly thicker consistency compared to your gel polish. So you want to make sure that you're kind of working it into that inhibition layer that's left behind from the gel polish and making sure you are only applying a thin coat because we're going to be doing a couple of different layers in this design and we don't want to end up with a too thick and bulky nail. But I do show you guys how I deal with any kind of layered gel polish designs further along in the video. Now once you have applied that coat of blooming gel, you're going to leave this wet then we're going to move on to the colours that we're going to be using. So all six of these colours are from the Exotic Summer Collection. So we have Perry Nice, Watermelon Sugar, Just Peachy, Pistachio, Exotic Mango and lastly Parrot Green. There are two other colours in the Exotic Summer Collection but I just wanted to use six in today's video. I really love this collection. It was one of my favorite summer collections because I feel like the colors are just really, really fun. And although they're not neon colors as such, they're very, very bright. So they worked really well, in my opinion, for this design. So as you can see, I've taken my Kiki London Nail Art palette and I'm popping all six of those colors down onto my palette, trying to get them as close and touching as I can on the palette but I don't want to contaminate my bottle brush. So always be very careful that you're not picking up any of the previous color gel polish. If you do, then wipe it off before you pop your bottle brush back in the bottle. Coming in now with the last color, and I decided to add this at the top just so I had a little bit of room to do the marble in. Now we're going to create that marble design on the palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Kiki London dotting and gem tool and we're going to use the dotting tool end just to pull through the colours. If you don't have the dotting tool, you could also do this with a cuticle tool or a wooden orange stick, anything that you can kind of clean off. So as you can see, I've kind of just swirled through them and created a really funky, fun marble design. Then we're going to use our round brush to transfer that marble to our blooming gel. So as you can see, I slid my brush through it and then I'm using the other side to begin with. And then I'll switch my brush over and I'm just very, very gently laying that gel marble down into the blooming gel the blooming gel is going to pull the marble off your brush and then you kind of don't want to play around with it you kind of want to just put it down or move on to the next nail and let the blooming gel do its thing now i wanted each of the nails to look a little bit different so as you can see i'm coming in with different colors i'm kind of doing different patterns with the blooming gel across the nail sorry with the gel polish across the nails so you'll see here, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that Perry Nice as I want to make sure going across all four colours, we do get all six of those colours that we picked up. And this is why I weren't stressing too much about creating a perfect marble pattern on my palette because we're going to be going in and out with different areas of that marble anyway. And then this is really, really simple to do because the blooming gel is going to do all of the harder work for you. You just need to get that gel polish down. And if you look back at the first now, you can see that started to bloom already and creating that really cool galaxy smoky effect. And then what I'm going to do is because there's a few areas where there's a little bit more of one color, like here with the parrot green, I'm going to take my striped liner brush and just pick up a little bit of another color and add it in to that green 
just so we create a bit more of a marble effect and so there's lots of colors coming through rather than there being any areas where there's predominantly one color you might not find that you have to do this step it is a little bit of an optional one and then i'm gonna leave these now to bloom i'm gonna just pop them down for a few seconds until i'm happy of how much they have bloomed and then when you are happy you're gonna pop them in to cure for 30 seconds and this is the result i absolutely love it the first and the last now were my two favorites just because i really loved the patterns in the colors now we're going to come in with another thin coat of our blooming gel and this is why i was saying you need to try and keep your layers as thin as possible but you are going to end up with a semi thick now because of the amount of layers that you are doing but i will come in and top coat and buff the nails so i'll show you how i eliminate some of the unevenness that that brings but for now we're coming in with another thin coat of that blooming gel you can see i'm really working it over the nail so that i'm only applying a small amount because we're not going to be doing any marbling as such on this layer so i don't need as much product as maybe i did on the first layer that we were doing so just coming in applying that thin coat and then you always leave your blooming gel wet so we're not popping that into cure then I've cleaned off my palette with a little bit of alcohol and got rid of that gorgeous marble and this time I'm adding on a little bit of French white. Now French white is a softer whiter shade compared to coconut and I wanted a softer white that was why I opted for this one over coconut because I kind of just want to add a little bit of smoky whiteness into the marble design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the round nail art brush and just dot on two little circles. I think I do two or three depending on the nail because like I said, I wanted each nail to look slightly different and I don't want to cover up any of the areas of the marble that I really liked. So I'm kind of just mainly popping this down on any areas either over some of the black or over any areas where there was a little bit of color going on anyway. Like if there was an area where there was a lot of one color, if that makes sense. So we're just dotting this on. This is kind of going to be a little bit of a background for some stars and some flakies. But again, I'm going to leave this to bloom. So you can see here on the first one, that white's got a lot softer. The edges are all starting to bloom out and giving it that kind of spacey galaxy look. Blooming gel is just a must have for any kind of galaxy design. Now that we've cured the French white, I'm going to take my Kiki London silicone tool and I've just got these little flakies that I had in my drawer. These are kind of like a holographic silver shade, but they work really well for a galaxy look. And all I'm doing is picking them up with one end of my silicone tool, pressing them down around those white areas. And that was why I wanted to add in a little bit of white. So I've kind of got some focal points over the top of that marble. So I'm just starting off with this end of my silicone tool and pressing them down where I want them to go. And then I'm going to switch to the other end, which is a bit more flat and really press them down into that tacky layer that's been left behind from the cured gel polish. Coming in and adding a few more here and there if I feel like I want a little bit of extra sparkle. And then once again, we're going to really press them down into that tacky layer. And I really, really love a hint of sparkle in any kind of galaxy design. Now I'm going to take my no white rubber top coat and we're going to seal in those flakes. Now this step, you want to kind of use a old top coat because you can end up picking up some of those flakes or glitters, whatever it is you are using and contaminate your top coat. So I always keep, when I get towards like Right, really near the bottom of a bottle of top coat I will put that one aside and I will save that for my chromes my glitters my flakes and then you can seal that in without worrying about contaminating a fresh bottle of top coat because it's really really annoying when you get glitter in a semi-new bottle of top coat but all we're doing here is applying a thin finished coat of this rubber top coat. We want to seal in all of that nail art. And because it's a rubber top coat, it's going to smooth out some of the unevenness that's been created from the marble work. So what I'm going to do is pop a thin coat of that over the top and then hold it upside down for a few seconds just to help self level because this design was a little bit uneven and the rubber top coat is a little bit thicker but it is going to self level around some of that unevenness and give you a smoother surface. And then once that has cured, I'm going to take my Kiki London buffer and I'm just taking the 100 grit side and buffing over the entire nail. And this again is going to help smooth out everything and give you a super smooth finish. So do bear in mind that if you're doing a lot of layered nail art with gel polish, you might end up with a slightly thicker nail. 
but that doesn't necessarily need, mean that it needs to be lumpy or bumpy or uneven. I personally try not to do too many layered designs on short or super short natural nails, but you can do them. You just need to be careful. But this is what I like to do if I have done a lot of layered nail art and the nail is looking a little bit uneven. We're going to give that a good dust off and I did the same on all three nails. And then what we're going to do is take one of the alcohol wipes to make sure that we're removing any of that dust that buffing has caused. This is a really, really important step because you don't want to encapsulate any dust once you've top coated because it's going to ruin the overall look. So I like to wipe, or sorry, brush with my dusty brush and then wipe with an alcohol wipe. And this is what these nails would have looked like matte, which I thought was really cool as well. Now, because it's a galaxy design, I do want to come in and add some stars. You could hand paint on some stars. I just decided to stamp because I am not the best at hand painting stars so I thought I'm going to take the easy route today and I'm going to stamp so I'm taking each of the nails giving my stamping plate a good clean with one of those alcohol wipes I'm going to apply a generous amount of stamping polish to one of the star images scrape the excess and then with a quick flick of the wrist or with my stamper I'm going to pick up the star and I'm going to remove any image that I don't want to transfer down so this particular star had like a little wiggle coming out of it and I just wanted the star so I'll show you guys here again always clean your stamping plates I really love the Kiki London alcohol wipes for cleaning my stamping plates they're not as strong as acetone but I find they still clean up the stamping plates nicely which is great because you don't want to leave any product from your stamping on the plate when you're doing your next image so always give your plates a good clean now you could also if you didn't want to add in stars after I done the stamping I did think I could have maybe added in some crystals so a little single crystal in each of the areas where we've done the white would have still give off a star vibe as well so if you're not very good at stamping you could also use crystals decals you could use but they tend to need a lighter base and I felt as though there was a lot going on so water decals might have got they might not have popped as much but that is why I popped down the white just so we had two kind of focal points amongst that marbling that was going to be the background for the stars because when I was doing the set of nails I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to do the stars whether it was going to be stamping or something different so this is what the nails look like now we've added on those little gold stars. So we're ready to come in and top coat again. So here I have a more fresher bottle of the No White Rubber Top Coat. And I'm just going to apply a thin coat of this to the entire nail. This is going to seal in everything one last time and give us that super high shine finish. I love the rubber top coat for any kind of nail art, but I do also love it on my natural nails because it's very strengthening as well. It's brilliant for anyone who's got weak or brittle nails or even anyone who's like myself and a little bit hard on their nails. So sometimes if you've got people who, you know, they don't tend to care for their nails as well as they should, don't wear gloves when they're washing up, that kind of thing, the rubber top coat really helps that. So this is what the nails look like once we'd applied that layer of top coat. The rubber top coat does require a 60 second cure. And then once they're cured, this is the finished result. I was absolutely obsessed with how these looked and I thought as though it's the perfect time of year to do a neon galaxy because all the summer colors are coming out. As always, I will leave all of the products I've used linked in the description box below. So do check that out. And if you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.